Hi, welcome back to another episode of Science with Dr. CK. Today's episode is called The Last Straw. Come with me as we explore Philippi Park in Safety Harbor, Florida. My daughter joined me for this episode as we take a look at plastics in the marine environment. Alex, what did you find there? Oh, I just found a plastic straw that was in the ocean. Wow. And that's actually sealed in a container? Yep. Some more plastic that spreaded. What do you think about that? I think that maybe people should be more careful. What inspired me to actually do this episode was a recent trip that I took down to Fort Myers, Florida to visit with friends. And when we went to a restaurant to eat lunch, we were told that they were not supplying plastic straws anymore. So I decided to take a look at this and get more information. Seattle was the first city to prohibit food service businesses from distributing plastic straws. And other cities in different states have followed, including cities in California, Florida, and also New Jersey. And so my recent trip that I took down to Fort Myers Beach was what inspired me to take a deeper look into this and find out exactly why we were looking at banning plastic straws. What exactly are the penalties for these food service businesses distributing plastic straws? Well, in Seattle, basically what they do is they'll fine the business up to $250. However, the city of Santa Barbara in California has actually proposed a much heftier fine and even possible jail time for distributing plastic straws up to $1,000 for a fine or six months in jail. Now part of the problem is, is that certain people that have disabilities might need to use plastic straws. The Wildlife Conservation Society has proposed a campaign called Give a Sip. And this campaign is really to help the state of New York with its proposal on banning plastic straws distributed by food service industries. And in this campaign, the Wildlife Conservation Society has cited a World Economic Forum report. And in this report, it states that plastic will outweigh fish by the year 2050. So why are we looking at plastic straws? Well, according to the Wildlife Conservation Society, plastic straws are among the 10 most collected items when you have a beach cleanup. And NOAA actually estimates that for every one pound of tuna that we pull out of our oceans, that we are actually putting two pounds of plastic in the ocean. And so there's thought that there's approximately 7.5 million plastic straws lying around on America's coastlines. Well, we have a lot of other things that we use that are made out of plastic. So why exactly are we looking at plastic straws? Because plastic straws actually only make up about 4% of the plastic that we find in our oceans by weight. 2018, plastic straws are now the issue. Well, if you think back to 2007, the city of San Francisco in California had proposed a ban on plastic bags. And in 2014, this actually became a statewide ban. However, it was challenged and the voters, citizens of California, actually had to affirm that they wanted this to be instituted. And so it actually didn't go into effect until 2016. However, despite this ban, we've seen between 2011 and 2016 an increase of 1.3% in the amount of plastic. Additionally, approximately $10.3 billion worth of bags were shipped in the US in 2016. So 
why exactly are we concerned about banning plastic straws? What's actually led to people looking at plastic straws was a 2015 video that went viral where there were rescuers that rescued a sea turtle and the sea turtle had a plastic straw trapped in its nostril. And this video was very graphic and really just got people to think, oh my gosh, plastic straws, we shouldn't be using those. That's what has really led to people looking at banning plastic straws. Now, in terms of businesses, McDonald's has moved to using paper straws solely in Britain, and they're looking at implementing that worldwide. And Starbucks has actually proposed that by 2020, they will be plastic straw free. They will be using paper straws from now on. If we look at the implications of plastic straws and what other options do we have? Well, people have proposed using wood or bamboo straws as an alternative. So, as an environmental chemist, I wanted to actually take a look and see, really and truly, if we instituted a ban on plastic straws worldwide, how much of a, an effect would that really have in eliminating the amount of plastic that we are putting into our oceans? If you look at plastic straws, they actually weigh very little. Plastic straws only weigh approximately 0.42 grams. And so out of the 2,000 tons of plastic that are put into the waters by plastic straws, there's 9 million tons of plastic per year that's estimated to be put in the water. Total. So the National Geographic Society estimates that Americans use approximately 500 million plastic straws a day. But again, if you look and you add up the numbers, it's not a whole lot compared to all of the plastic that we are putting in the oceans. As I have been teaching a wetland environment course over the past almost 20 years at the university, one of the topics that I always had my students explore was the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Now, this is an area in the Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and California. And it's estimated that the size of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is approximately two times the size of Texas. Now, in a 2018 report, it's estimated that 99.9% .9 of the trash that's in this Pacific Garbage Patch is plastic. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, also sometimes called the Pacific Trash Vortex, is the largest of the big five plastic dumps. So what exactly are these garbage patches? Well, the garbage patches are actually formed from ocean gyres which are circles of large areas of stationary calm water into which debris drifts. And due to the region's lack of movement, it can accumulate for years. I'll discuss more about these garbage patches in a future episode. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Science with Dr. CK. Subscribe to see more videos like this. This episode is part of a weekly series I have on my channel called Science with Dr. CK. Click on the playlist to see more episodes. Thanks for watching.